The horrors inflicted on the Ukrainian people was front and center at the University of Miami tonight amid heartbreaking images of the suffering Ukrainian musicians performed to raise funds and to raise awareness. CBS4's Ashley Dyer was there. Through feelings of desperation and fear comes inspiration. I felt like I'm missing and at some point I was I was about to break and just go there. Unable to help from afar, Dimitro Gnatu, a student at Frost School of Music, channeled his energy into something with a lasting impact. We just felt very hopeless. Right, especially me because of my family is in Ukraine. Everyone is in Ukraine. I'm by myself here. That's when he thought of an idea, United for Ukraine, a concert to symbolize hope and raise money for war torn Ukraine. When he approached you with this idea, you know, what was your first thought? What was your reaction? How quickly can we get this going? And uh, let's let's mobilize the entire school and all of our resources to make this happen. Students and staff quickly realized how many of them have connections to Ukraine. What we were doing right now, using the music to inspire people to help in Ukraine. For these musicians, each moment of the concert has a meaning. I wish music could stop wars. It cannot on its own. Students tell me music is about bringing people together. At least it brings me some peace because I'm not just observing what is happening in Ukraine. I'm and offering hope in midst of tragedy. If we, all of us, um, you know, from different backgrounds can come together and present such beautiful music that the world should be able to do the same thing. A true example of just how powerful music can be. Now you heard me mention the main goal of this concert is to help raise money for the people of Ukraine. Now the easiest way for you to do that is go ahead and grab your smartphone and scan this QR code. It's going to direct you to the Frost School of Music and their partnership with a nonprofit organization that is on the ground in Ukraine every day helping these people. Now, if you missed this QR code or if you don't have your phone with you, we also have a link on our website where you can help. We're in Coral Gables, Ashley Dyer, CBS4 News Tonight.